What are you wearing? We're supposed to be making a Super Bowl dip recipe. Well, I mean, I don't care about the foosball, but I want to know, like, you know, halftime show and what everybody's wearing. Like, that's the best part of the Super Bowl. Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to make a Super Bowl cheese dip. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So it's Super Bowl season. And Puppy Bowl season. That's the better game. <laughs> We're gonna watch the Super Bowl. I wanna see the kitten cheerleaders though. Okay, well here's the thing about the Super Bowl. Super Bowl's got some really good foods and some of it is good on keto. Like you can have wings and, and burgers, burgers. Hot dogs. And then you can't really have any chips or anything unless you're gonna have pork rinds. But what I like to yeah. do is I like to dip my stuff. So today we're gonna make a super easy, super simple, super fast, three cheese dip. And this one is really easy to make. How easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel could make it. I'm gonna be the quarterback of this recipe. Yes, you are. And this recipe literally is gonna take less than a minute. Are you ready to go over what we need? I'm gonna hit a home okay. run. You need some garlic. Now you're gonna use one clove of garlic. I don't keep cloves in the house because we don't use them that often and they just go bad. So we buy this stuff. And these are just as smelly. Okay, you need some cottage cheese. You need some blue cheese. You need some cream cheese. <laughs> and then you need some salt. Redmond. That's all you need. And then also you need a quarter of a cup of water. But just like we promised, one, two, three cheeses. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna take a blender. You can use any blender you want. We're gonna use our Vitamix. We're gonna make sure it's all the way on low because yeah. otherwise you make a mistake like me, put it on high, flip it up, and everything goes flying. Put the lid on too. Quarter cup of water. I was gonna say, I can pour that in. Well, I'm right here. Okay. Okay. One cup of cottage cheese. Yay. Here you go. Thank you. I love cottage cheese. Okay, now, usually we would use good culture, but the store was out by us. So just use the highest fat one you can find. Like, uh, this one is the 4% milk fat. We got it from uh, Walmart. Walmart. And I think this one is five carbs per serving. Yeah. So not too bad. So we're gonna put the top on and we're gonna blend this for like 20 seconds. That's pretty good. Remember, this is the Vitamix, so you probably don't have to go as long. Okay? Okay. From there, we're gonna add everything else. Oh, I like that. Six ounces of softened cream cheese. Can I pull, oop, I plumped it. Two tablespoons of blue cheese, crumbled up. A clove of garlic or the equivalent, so I'm using a teaspoon from that chopped minced garlic. It is so like potent. And a teaspoon of salt. Now, just blend it till it's smooth. Here Put you go. the top on. Put your top on. We love you, Gail. Now, you'll probably have to use the tamper on the Vitamix, but go ahead and turn it on. Okay. And then we can just take this off, but just turn it up high a little bit, and there we go. You're good. done now we're just going to transfer this over into a bowl i think we have a pretty one so we got this here then i'll put this to the side it looks like normal sour cream but it ain't 
This would also be really good just to top your burger. It would be great on a burger. Chicken great salad. Great on a chicken. Uh, we have that uh, Mediterranean meatloaf that we make. Yes. The one that's like the carnivore mug cake. Mm -hmm. You can put a little bit of this on top. It's almost like a tahini sauce, but there's no cucumber obviously in here. It's just a delicious cheese. Gonna get what's under the blades you there. You're gonna miss anything. We can actually probably get our taste test right from inside of there. Okay, so we're gonna put that off to the side. We got some pork rinds. So Still that's, pickle. That's gonna be the first taste test. There you go. Thank you. I'm gonna dink it. Boop. Dink. Hmm. Wow. It's really good. It's really good. And you're not using a lot of blue cheese, but that flavor comes through. It does. If you don't like blue cheese, you can substitute a different kind of like yeah. cheese. I just love blue cheese though. Here's the other thing that's really good for dipping. You can make our crackers, the Cheez-Its, but yeah. if you don't have any, like I don't feel like making any tonight. So these fat snacks are really good. Fat snacks. And uh, there's actually a link down below. I think we have a coupon code. I'm not. I don't remember that. Oop, there's a little on the side. That was good. Cheese on cheese on cheese, baby. Yeah. Okay. So let's be honest. When you look at dips, they always say like a serving size is a tablespoon or two tablespoons. Yeah. I don't know about you. You're gonna take your pork rind and Use it you're as a gonna raft. dip it, right? Like. That's probably the whole serving right there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to up the serving size. We're going to say a serving size is like a quarter of a cup. There's about two cups here, probably even a little bit more. So yeah. this is only eight servings if you eat the entire bowl. Which I could because it's all Okay, so per serving, 113 calories. And again, that's using the ingredients that we use, these brands. Mm -hmm. If you want to know your exact ones, Put it in a chronometer using the exact brands that you're using and you'll get the, re the results that you're looking for. Yeah. 113 calories per serving, saying that there's eight servings in this bowl. 9.5 grams of fat, uh, 5 grams of protein, and 2.3 total carbs. I love it. I think it is a great dip, but I also like it on top of a burger. Yep. I like it mixed with chicken salad, tuna salad, on top of grilled chicken. It's really good as a dip when we get like a rotisserie chicken right. from Publix. I mean, it's great with chicken wings. It's it's very versatile. But again, as a dip, you can be kind of be a little guilt free. Nobody's gonna eat this whole bowl. Come on, you're gonna get like really full and oh, sick yeah. and you ate this it's entire very bowl. Fatty. But if you ate the entire bowl, you're still looking at under a thousand calories. Like what? What dip can you make for under a thousand calories? Seriously. And you'd only be at like what? Um, 20 carbs, not even. So again, I'm not saying eat the whole bowl. I'm just saying it's not that's gonna... better than any dip you're going to buy in this store. Well, I like the fact that I could get to the Super Bowl without derailing myself. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to be today's cooking video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have an entire playlist, which we're going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.